need to alert the cops. Now. Sorry, guys, had to check the volume. Please turn on your sound. Purple Hyacinth, episode 95. They said they're moving the revolution up, but everything else was still super vague. Boss just said we have to move everything. Because it's no longer safe to keep them here. Do you think the cops are on to something? I don't know. Stop speculating and just get to work. The backups are coming soon. Aye, aye, sir. Everything needs to be moved by the loading dock, got it? Yes, and never mix it with normal boxes. I know the rules. Doom. There's no time to waste. We have to go up the second floor. What's That's where our chance to find a phone are. All right, we'll take the stairs. Hey, March, the radio is on the fritz with this, this storm. I'll need to pop up to the roof to check the equipment. No, so that means from this, I am ca assuming that when they call, Ren and, you know, Kieran call, it's not going to go through because the signal, the radio is jammed. Oh, no. No problem. Be careful, Larry. If you are not back in 15 minutes, I'm coming up there to make sure you're okay. Why are we stuck patrolling outside in this weather? Everyone is stationed around the street corners in small groups. That's all we can do for now. Should have taken raincoats before leaving the precinct. We can't stop doing our job just because the weather isn't in our favor. I know. I just hope it's a quiet night. Guard. Okay, let's go. Da -da. This one's empty. Hey, look, sub order in it. I found your favorite room. The archive room. <laughs> oh, let's see if the Phantom Scythe is more organized than the APD. I don't see phones. Me neither. But wait, you hear that? Aha! Uh -huh. I doubt we'll find a phone in that. Right, but who knows what else they're hiding. Whoa. Huh? A door. Huh? That looks like a good sandwich. Look, guys, I've been craving a sandwich and I can't eat a sandwich, so... Uh... Knock him out! Knock him out! <gasps> Bam! Uh, he broke the phone. It's a police scanner. They've been tracking the police movements and broadcast. I told you before, the Phantom Scythe always ahead of the police. You guys really need to step up your game. They even have a police-issued radio transceiver, transceiver to intercept communications from our personal radios? <gasps> Kieran, can you disguise your voice? Depends on what you need me to do. I know the frequency. We can connect to the police radios with the radio transceiver. Luna is supposed to be two men, so... Okay, one thing though. You have to be careful not to get to not get seduced by my... Uh, new voice. 
Yeah, okay. That should work. Go ahead and have fun seducing the APD, sir. Attention. Attention all officers of the APD. Ur urgent message from Loon. Huh? I repeat, we are Loon. For whomever receives report, we have in the factory, Inc. Located street. We are requesting immediate assistance. Loon? This is Sergeant Liddell. Crap. Please repeat what is your location? Shit. Huh. Oh, man. I hate it when I, I click and it just like jumps instead of like scrolling. Officer Halt, did you also receive the message from Loon? Yes, but most of it was distorted. We couldn't get much out of it. Only something about a factory. All right, can you please watch the radio room while I'm gone? I'll be back. This is Detective March. I just received Loon's message from the radio front room. I think we got an address. I repeat, message was not received. Please. <gasps> Crap, you didn't see him wake up? He pulled the wires from the ground. <sighs> Let's go back to the office and find a phone to contact the APD directly. It's only a matter of time before the guards wakes up or someone discovers we've been here. Destroy the police scanner before we leave then. They've been using it quite enough. On it. Okay, let's see if I can... All right. Purple Hyacinth, episode 96. Okay. This music's a little louder than the other. Stand by, I repeat, all officers, stand by. Shh. Liddell and Lieutenant Hawks, please report. Again, all officers, and Hawks report to the precinct. This is Lieutenant Hawks requesting transport. We are at 547 Jeanette Street. Hawks, please report to the precinct. The Lieutenant Hawks requesting tra requesting re transport. <sighs> this weather. Will, there is something I always wanted to try in the rain. Are you ready to try with me, Lieutenant? Huh? <laughs> Running in the rain. Herman speaking. This is Lieutenant Hawks, re requesting transportation to the precinct from Chapl Chaplin Street and Maple. Lieutenant Hawks, I assume you were able to hear the message from Loon. I was able to hear part of it, but all the crucial details were missing. That seems to be the case with all the handled, handheld radios. A receiver in the precinct was able to pick up a stronger signal. It didn't defer much, but we could only get a location out of it. The glass factory located on 73 Shearbrook Street. Where is Sergeant Liddell? Liddell is here too. Perfect. I'm sending a car to get you and to uh, take you there. I'll I want you to scout out the situation and report right back to us. Stay covered and don't let anybody know you're there. Understood? Yes, sir. Crap. Uh, hi, Randall. Herman wants us to go to the glass factory located, located on 73 Shearbrook Street. More babysitting. If you two fight again, I will crash this car. And only I will be able to jump out because it's locked in the back seat. Why am I included in this? <laughs> oh, I tried to steal the lamp from the weird lady's hair. Shh. 
just shh. It was Kim on the other end earlier. If they come and don't know there's nitroglycerin here, it's going to be really bad. Yeah, let's find a phone before this place turns into a firework. There's someone. Huh? <gasps> oh my gosh, he, he can't shoot. Oh my gosh. Bam. Shut up. That's two to zero, St. Clair. Didn't think you'd be out of uh, so out of shape. Don't worry. I'll have no four-eyed archivist outscoring me. Seems like we've made a great deal of noise. There's more coming. You two are soaking wet. Change out your coats. There's equipment in the trunk of the car. I was ordered to wait for you guys. The car will be parked in the alleyway on Nil Street. Find me there. Please don't leave me alone with him. Poor guy. They're so easy to knock out. <coughs> Don't. That still only counts as one, love. Three to one. We're only getting started. The power. I can hardly see anything. There are more cars coming. I think it's two. They're fighting in the dark, oh my gosh. Are they hitting each other? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I need some water after this one. Oh my gosh, it's getting so dangerously scary here. Ugh. All right, cliffhanger, but we're gonna tune in for the next one. So if you guys enjoy the way I reacted and read this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will get some water before I read the next one. Bye.